Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Sylvia, a Nigerian YouTuber living in Onita. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. So please just go to the subscribe button and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Yeah. To my returning subscribers, I say thank you. You guys are the best. Guys, do you see who we have here today? Our Hello. Mama Dina, the king of dynamite family. King, king and queen. <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn. Oh my oh, god. So today I am in Portacot. Introduce yourself, Makandina. Hello, Mara. beautiful people. It's your favorite baby girl, whether you like it or not. I'm your favorite <laughs> baby girl. Dina equipment in the building, and yeah. today we have a guest in Petakwa. Yeah. And people know how we do. We're going to take her around Portacot. <laughs> there is no dull moment with diana and today we are going to explore portacot you are going to exciting places where you can visit when you are in portacot i don't want to give you much hints okay you have to come along with us to enjoy cruising enjoy the places we will be visiting yeah and we are going to have a mukbang on this channel today so please don't click out come with us definitely you're going to enjoy it if not for anything for my mother you know, you know she's smart. here <laughs> my coach my only coach she's here so don't go anywhere Come with us and enjoy the ride. Yes, yeah, sir. Do you have anything to tell? Me? No. <laughs> Let me not give out too much. Yeah, this is intro. Intro. <laughs> intro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. So, guys, we are on our way to Genesis Cinema to go and see a movie. Come with us and enjoy the ride. Baby. So guys, as you can see, baby girl was complaining. The movie was just boring. She slept all through. She was just asleep and I was the one watching the movie. I couldn't help it. But now we are on our way to Native Tree to go and eat. Come with us, guys. Yeah. When, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah, when, when, yeah, 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 We've placed our orders. I ordered a table soup with apple. I she ordered, I think we ordered banga soup with starch. Both of our orders we haven't had before, so we said, let us try new things, you know, native food, and review it possibly. Mine is originated from Efik according to the menu. So if you know you've had a tamas soup before, let us know in the comment section below. And uh, before everything was set, food is not even here. 
I saw only on the Chinese lady when she asked for family. <laughs> she asked for family. Her parents had they brought us a keg of family. Would I call this a keg or a big jar of family? Oh, I'll put this here. Oh. Oh, all starch came out of it. Did you get No. <laughs> so as you can see her food is here she ordered for starch and banga soup as you can see here and mine is a little bit of ethic you know mine is you know you want to go to the movie you need to be you need to be your best in this family okay so go okay man what's all the together i'm gonna chill one day. Don't come in the cover say one to No come and die this life. No come to suffer. All the Manka, in a 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 all the sensory nerves in my brain is up. Now, this lady are down on the channel here. Now, let me see the starch and banker soup. Here is my problem. Hell! Oh. Ah. There is no native food without family. If you are having native food and you don't have family on your table, my dear, you are disrespecting the elder. And this is apple and atama soup for our favorite baby girl. So, yeah, to be honest, when I hear that, I used to think that it would be very soft. I'm not very soft, this thing here. He has to be a professional, but I don't need to get into this smooth consistency. Wow. I don't know, that's why I have it. I even thought it would be like Costa. It would be like Costa, man. You know, that's the texture. The speaker. So, so far, how is your food? What does it taste like? Sweet. Let us know in the comment section if you've had either a tama soup or banga soup. Let us know which is your favorite. Let us know as well your tribe. Who are you watching from? I want to say like a wosu. I don't have a wosu. That's a wosu. It kind of has this um, wosu fish. Sentry, you know? It tastes sentry. The difference is that a wosu is completely black. But this one is a mixture of black and brown. So, I don't know what... I don't think this soup is made up of how come? What is this thing going on on Facebook about Ananda guys refusing to marry you? See, the honest truth is, because I grew up in Abba, yeah, I didn't really see that rivalry between Imo and Ananda. Wow. I didn't really, obviously, you who grew up in Anicha. To be a common thing there. Very common. We used to fight in secondary school classes. Maybe because there are not a lot of Anambra people in Aba. In Aba. Because only Anambra that happen on the Happen in market. There were there. You understand? So to me, Aba made me feel like it would need a roof. I didn't see like even this Catholic Anglican thing. Mm. It was when I went to my husband's village that he explained to me in detail that. There's this deep rivalry between Catholics and Anglican within the Igbo tribe. In Abba, I feel like majority of Igbo are even Catholics in Abba, like all Catholic. Don't get me wrong, there are Anglican churches in Abba. But I feel like most people, like every corner you go to in Abba, there's a Catholic church. So I didn't, I just used to see everything as, I didn't read meaning into things until I got married. I went to my husband's village. Growing up in Abba, I felt like I didn't see the need <coughs> to like see things the way most people who grew up in Anicha and Enugu 
see things. I feel like Abba made it feel like it would be low food. They are all one. Getting married now. I said hearing talks. When I tell people I married an Anambra man, he's like, how? They get that face of how. Yeah. You are grand was yeah. special or something. Like there is a reason why, because they, they don't normally do it. And if you're asking me if if it's fact, there's no fact to it because Igbos are even marrying outside of Igbo these days. Yes. Igbos are marrying even houses these days. Yeah, so we can't really say that's a fact. But is it common? Is it very common to go to an Anambra household and the mother will reject you just because you're from Imo or Ab uh, Abia? It is very likely. Friend came to see me in Onja and we met in Five Spa. So as we were just coming down, I met an old friend, a male, who was love struck at first. He was just asking me, who is this girl? I want to know this girl. When I got home, this guy was calling me. The first question was, where is she from? Immediately I said, Imo. He gave up. Imo. I'm serious. This guy was calling me like five times before I got home. But immediately he asked, where is she from? And I said, Imo. He said, no. I asked him why. He said, he can't convince his people. I'll ask you a personal question based on you. You're from Anambra. How true is it that mothers in Anambra have an upper hand in dictating who their sons marry than them, than the sons themselves? I think it's the connection. Connection how they have with the mother. Why? What's the psychology to this? How does it come about? Why is the majority of women, not just Anambra women, but other tribes complain of how, oh, if the mother doesn't approve, again, when making. What is it that they are doing different that makes their sons like, oh, my mom said, my mom said, before anything, my mom, my mama said, let me say. <laughs> are you going to say that it's common with an Anambra men? Or is I feel like. Are you serious? Like, yes. non Igbo, non Igbo women, when they complain, when they raise a complaint, if you trace, it's, money, it's mostly an Anambra men. Igbo men, most Igbo men, they have their mind of their own. Yeah. At their statement, the, the ones I've seen, you know, they are in a hard to chat. When they can name say or name a equator, or not that they disrespect their moms, but then they have a say. How they should do one one one. Yeah. Even if their mother or their father doesn't agree. So I want to know what, as in what is it that Anambra women? Because me, I'm not know. When it gets the to be honest with you, most times it's not just the mom. A family can come together to decide that you are not going to marry from another child. And you know, saying that your mom is the reason why the relationship won't go on. Is an excuse? Be, yes, it's an excuse that if the lady can understand you. Like, and I can't say have any issue with my mom. You understand? That connection that a, a mother has with her child, the lady might not want to come in between them. So mom is a perfect excuse for me. Because I've seen a situation where somebody is coming for us to go and marry someone from Imo State and the entire family decided to fight him. He's still single till today. But the perfect excuse that he gave the lady was my mom said, Wow. You know, you, you you are a lady. And when someone is coming to tell you that the mom said this, you will find it difficult. Yeah, to come in between them because at some point, even if you marry the guy, you are going to have your own kids and you won't want a situation where a lady will come in between you and your son. So I think it's a perfect excuse. It's not always about the mom. Most times it's the family. And you know mothers are dramatic. When the family is against it, you can call you can easily start crying, shedding tears, asking your son if you do this, I'm going to die. And your son will give you manipulation. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section, where are you from? I just want to know. I have a lot of you watching me. I know so many of you. Evil lights. Evil lights. Naba. If you are from Anambra, Imo, anywhere in Nigeria, because today this is all about our culture, where we come from, because as you can see, we are having the native foods that we've never tested before. So if you are from any part of Nigeria or Africa,
just drop it in the comment section okay mm -hmm. and or if you have any suggestion of any native food that you want us to try next time so we'll try it when we come and to talk pack up serious again. Again. <laughs> yeah. so guys what is your own opinion about what we discussed about marrying from another state about women manipulating their sons when are you not from Anambra? Are you yeah. from Imo, Abia, Enugu, or a boy married yeah. to Anambra? How do you see? How was it? How was the do they do they treat you different when you came in? How were people's reactions? Did they embrace you? Do yeah. you still see or hear side talks from your in laws and whatnot? Just let us know. We would love to know that. Behind our call, our home, you know, greet, greet, greet. You know, in some people's cases, you can just be walking and you will hear, Nain Kimu, Nkawara. What do you mean? Hi. I think we grew up in Amaha. Forget, Ndi Mona, I want to forget where you come from. But that doesn't make you just move other qualities that like, you know, woman has just because you feel that. Honey, me too, me too, me too more. They want to see the world, da 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 da. So we are even saying that emo babes are the Olingo. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about the Olingo part, but the major thing they were saying that they are too expensive. That Anambra men can't maintain them. Anambra men want to keep us, but they don't know anything. I am staying here with you. At least I know that you are a keeper, and I still know the Anambra friends. That cannot keep it to tell you that it boils down to the individual. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with your state or your tribe, it's just about your person. But anyway, it's fine, guys. Let me finish my food before Sapa die. Mm -hmm. So, guys, we are done. We, we are done, in fact. Mm -hmm. so they have been really successful, like we didn't even yeah. know when. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, is that I can see from the video? Oh my, my god, Tam, um, you need to try a Tama soup. Like, this is the first time I'm trying it. I think people cook. Na, on a day cook that we could try banga soup on a day cook that. No, you go to the house and we'll teach you to know. I don't want to hear me because I want to remind you guys that this is a collaboration video between you must see my face before please mama Dina. yeah if you don't know she's my mentor she's the one that brought me into this yeah, platform <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I beg go learn from each other now. I will keep screaming that word so please go over to her channel and watch the bomb we created there do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime she posts a new video if you are seeing our faces for the very first time, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. Definitely. So our returning subscribers, we say Mwah. thank you so much. <laughs> we will see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>